Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. So I got a question today in my Discord. You want to join my Discord? Link to do so is in the description of the video or just hit me up, private messages. Anyways, it was something that I was thinking about a couple weeks ago because in our alliance we were having a debate about it and the guy messaged me and he's like, hey Genghis, um, is there like a tough guy kind of thing? Like something healing? Is it frowned upon in battlefields? Like some people in my alliance want to do it. Some don't. Is this like an old school C1 mentality where healing in battlefield is for wimps and then new age people do it? And it actually kind of opened my, you know, thinking cap, put it on, open my eyes, I was going to say, put my thinking cap on. Because when we debated this a couple weeks ago, I was like, I'm right. Like you guys are wrong. You should not be healing in battlefield. And then some people in my alliance were like, no, like we should. We should be trying to win every single battlefield. And my opinion, maybe because I'm old school C1, and my opinion was, no, we should save heals for important battles, such as qualifying for all-stars, in all-stars, in shalons, things like that. Things that have real rewards. Because if you look at uh, the regular battlefields, right, you look and you can go to rewards. These are the rewards, right? The difference between winning and losing. In my opinion, it's not that big a deal. But there's other rewards too, right? Like if you're a team that wins all the time, you can recruit better. You can get better players to come to your server. So that is a factor also. That's something that people don't really take into account. Plus, if you want to get wings, you need your team point total to be high, right? And we all know if you lose in Battlefield, you only get 60% of the points. Where am I going here for the, the point totals in here? So you only get 60% of the points if you lose. And you get 100% if you win, minus all the building, the reinforcing type points. But anyways, um, that is a factor, right? You get more all-stars. You get more red wings. You get more pink wings. So uh, it actually did make me think, like, you know, should people be healing in regular battlefields? Obviously not an over amount, right? Like at some point you say... That's enough healing, guys. We're not winning no matter what. And especially if both teams heal, then nobody should heal, right? Like healing only works if the other team's not healing too. So healing, and it makes me wonder too also, like do we lose battlefield sometimes just because the enemy's healing? Because um, we'll zero people and then we'll notice, like they're healing definitely a march or two and staying in the battle. Um, also another th random thought on this is, are your non-all-stars, should they be healing in battles to help the other players? So if you think about it from this standpoint, your non-all-stars are probably not killing monsters, right? So they're just joining with one troop. So they should have a lot of speeds that they're not using to heal after killing monsters or killing barbarians for the rest of the alliance. So their way to contribute a little bit could be, hey, I'll be a better support player in Battlefield by helping out with this sort of stuff. Um, I don't know. There's, there's lots of different angles to this, lots of different takes. I still do believe you should uh, heal, save your heals for key battles like Shallans. So... One thing that where it came up in our alliance was um, I was okay with losing a, like in the qualifying leading up to Shallans as long as we stayed in the top 64. Like my goal was let's make the top 64 and then we can have more heals in All-Stars or in Shallans actual round one. And it worked out, but it was tight. It was tight. So I remember we were like 60th place or 59th place, but we had a good like 150K, 200K lead on 65th place to get the top 64 for Shallans. But we did lose the final round. And I remember like after that, when we were debating it, I was like, oh man, we better make top 64 after I told people save your heels for Shallans. Because if, if we don't, then it's like, well, that was an important battle you chose not to heal in. So anyways, I'd love to know from the community, from you guys, do you guys heal in regular battles? 
Do you heal like nonstop and, until you have no heals left? Or do you have like a certain amount of heals where you're like, this is an acceptable amount for me to heal? Or do you heal until it's like obvious the enemy can continue to take hospital or mind buffs to get those buffs? So that's one thought too that I had was heal a march to try and win the, hosp the mind buff. And then if you can get a heal for free, then maybe it turns the battle. So that might be worth healing for, for that, but not healing from zero to full. Just to heal, just heal a march or so, just to stay in the battle, be able to fight for the buffs and continue on that way. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Does your alliance heal in nonchalance, non-all-star qualifying battles? Or do you save them up for the big things where there's dragon rewards and red subsidies and that sort of stuff? It's kind of something we've never really had to think about as an alliance because we've always been non-competitive. But now that we had a merge and things are working well, it's always good to, uh, you know, think about things. Because if everybody thinks the same, nobody's thinking, right? There's a good quote for you. Anyways, let me know what you guys think on it, what your alliance philosophy is. And is this just an old school C1 thing where those guys are too tough to heal? Uh, it's funny though, just one other random thought, because we do very well against C1 teams, maybe because we're both not healing. And then when we play newer servers, we just get rocked sometimes. Not as so much anymore, but before the power sides were kind of equal. I think they've fixed the battle matching algorithm or maybe just the larger power teams have kind of surpassed us a bit and we don't match with them. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.